What is up my shredheads? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we are finally on the Aerial Rider Grizzly. We're doing our first ride and initial impressions. But before we get started, check out that link down below for Aerial Rider. You can get any bike there for 50 bucks off. Just use code SHREDDY. I'm gonna do a little overview of the bike. We're gonna go through some of the electronics right now. So. Right up here, we got a 17 and a half amp hour battery. It's a 52 volt system on this guy. So you're gonna get a little more torque, speed, efficiency, and range. And on the back, we also have a second battery, which will give us dual batteries. And this is a 14 amp hour battery and it has a little brake light on the back, which is pretty cool. But together combined, we're gonna get 31 and a half amp hour battery. So these battery packs inside of them, they're lithium Samsung cells. With running these batteries, they have their own power switches on and off. You could run them separately or at the same time if you'd like. If you guys just want to run the front battery, you just turn that one on and leave the back one off and vice versa. Or if you want both of them on, just flip both switches, one switch there and the other switch is right below here. So now both batteries are on and they also provide a 52 volt 5 amp charger. So it charges pretty quickly. There's only one charger. You can always get a second one if you'd like. Here's something I really love about this bike. We got dual hub motors, one in the front and one also right here in the back. They're both 750 watt motors with a combined peak of 1500 watts. So this thing has some good power and really good torque. And another thing I really love about the hubs over at Aerial Rider, these geared hubs actually come with metal gears instead of the nylon gears most geared hubs come with. They're gonna be a little bit stronger, more durable, can handle a little bit more torque. And right here, we also have an awesome full color display, little USB charger underneath if you wanna charge your phone while riding. I also did mention that we have a rear brake light but right here in the front we got an LED headlight and what's really cool about the headlight at nighttime it has a little sensor here so once this notices it's getting dark this light turns on automatically how crazy is that and since this bike has dual hub motors there are two 52 volt 750 watt controllers here we have the power button and we also have five levels of pedal assist and a low power cadence sensor and right up here we got a nice little half twist throttle it feels really solid and very well made and all up through here we have water resistant connections connectors and a water resistant wiring harness. It's not fully waterproof, but you should be okay getting caught in a rainstorm. All right, we're gonna go through some of the components. This bike is equipped with Tektro HDE 350 hydraulic disc brakes with a 180 millimeter brake rotor from Tektro. The chain is a KMC Z7. And right here we have a Shimano Altus 310AD seven speed derailleur. And over here, we got a front fender and a rear fender. And I finally got it on the right way, guys. I had it on backwards because of crisscross, but I fixed it just for you guys in e-bike signs. Also, this bike is equipped with a hydraulic front suspension fork and guys, these grips are awesome. They're ergonomic, like faux leather grips, but they have a nice little like resting spot for your palms, which is super comfortable. I like these ergonomic grips a lot. And the handlebars guys are aluminum alloy and they're 670 millimeters in length. The headset is a Nico internal cups, straight one and one eighth. This is my Super 73 rack bag that I never got to use because their racks never came out. But I put it on the back of this bad boy because it has a little space on the back. I don't have a rack on here and it fit perfectly. You asked me what this is inside there? That is my drone, my Evo 2 8K drone. But soon guys, I'm gonna be getting a extended upgraded saddle. This saddle is a Aerial Rider e-bikes moped style banana seat. The height is not adjustable at all guys. Here we got the Shimano Index Thumb Shifter. It works very well. It has a little plus button here, kind of like my wicked thumb. Little index shifter up here also. And up here guys, we got CST 20 by four puncture resistant sand tires. These are really, really good for the sand. I cannot wait to show you guys how this thing performs on there. The whole puncture resistant part, I don't know how that works out, if it's thicker rubber or anything. If you guys know why they call this puncture resistant, leave a comment down below and let me know. Also on this bike, we have 20 inch rims. So we got dual motor, dual battery, dual rear suspension that's actually adjustable. Look at that. This bike and all its duality is awesome. Dual rear suspension, dual batteries, dual motors, dual awesomeness. We're gonna get started on the little ride. We'll ride around, we'll do some tests here and there. I guess I'll go through all the pedal assists and see what speeds they have. And also I unlocked the bike. I can't tell you the code to unlock the bike because of, I guess, liability reasons. I don't wanna get in trouble for giving away that code, but we're gonna see what the top speed of this thing is. I got my GPS tracker up front. We're gonna see the exact speed and see if 
the speedometer is on point or, or a little bit off with, usually it's like two to three miles an hour off on all e-bikes that I've ridden. And over here, we have rear passenger pegs. So once you get that extended seat, you can throw somebody in the back for a ride. Here's the switch for your hub motors. If you want the rear only motor, it's gonna be all the way to the right. Both motors, all wheel drive, it's gonna be in the center. And if you want just the front hub motor by itself, it's gonna be all the way left. And I'll show you guys, this actually works while you're giving it throttle also. So it'll switch right on the go, it's so awesome. So the one thing I forgot to show you guys is this bike has a nice big front sprocket. So you can cover a lot of ground when you pedal this bad boy. Pretty stoked about that. And it's easy to pedal when the bike is powered off. You gotta hold down the power button for three seconds. We're on. Man, the suspension feels so good on this stuff, guys. We're at 58.4 volts. We're just on the rear motor by itself. Let me put on gear four, there we go. That's his pedal assist one. Yeah. Yeah, guys, the suspension on this is pretty awesome. <laughs> We're gonna get on this road. I'm gonna put it on dual motor. Here's the switch. Middle is dual motor. And let's get going, guys. <laughs> that thing peels out like nothing. 16, 23, 25, 27. We're going downhill here. Thirty-two point eight is the highest I've seen. All right, now we're gonna go uphill a little bit. It says thirty-four point eight on the speedometer on the bike, but the GPS has given me thirty-one point five. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this thing has some good torque. I'm gonna have to lose some weight this summer so I can go faster. <laughs> what? This is sick. So yeah, about a top speed, about 31.8. We're going uphill, we hit 31.2. I know guys, I need to get gloves here soon. I only got my winter gloves. I need to get some kind of summer riding gloves. If you guys have any suggestions on summer riding gloves let me know down in the comments below thanks guys and right now we're going to go through all the modes just to see what each mode top speed is so right now we're in mode one third gear and we can push it to past 15 let's see <laughs> yeah so about 15 miles an hour is top speed for mode one we're going to go into mode two let's go to seventh gear So mode two, top speed is about 16 and a half miles an hour. All right, now we're gonna hit mode three. Mode three top speed, let's see what we get. Oh man, <laughs> this thing's so torquey. Mode three top speed is about 22.8 miles an hour. Let's see if we can hit 23. Ah, oh, come on, you can do it. <laughs> oh, I'm slowing down, I'm going uphill. Whew. All right, let's go. Mode four, dual motor, dual battery. Oh, here we go. Top speed, let's see what we get here. Mode four. Come on, 26, come on. Ah, oh, the highest I hit, 20. 26, there it is, baby. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. All right, here's the final mode. Dual battery, dual motor, mode five, top speed. <laughs> I'm hoping we hit the 30. Going uphill. Come on, 27. There we go, 27. All right, now we're getting flat again. Oh, mode six. <laughs> I didn't know we had a mode six. I thought it was five. Ah. We hit 31.5. Ah, 31.5. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's freaking awesome and just to show you guys you can change the moods on the go 
we're gonna go to rear by itself not as much torque now all right so rear motor by itself with the dual batteries full speed test all throttle let's see if we can hit 30 miles an hour Whew, look at that beautifulness this is gorgeous out here beautiful lewis if you guys are ever in lewis want to go for an awesome group ride hit me up let me try your e-bike i'll let you try mine <laughs> 28, 28.5. All right, now we're in a flat, 29, 30, just rear wheel, 31.5. That's awesome. Back to 31, 31.6. Can we hit 32 on this little downhill? So close, 31.6. <laughs> Just because I want to run in grass. Feel that awesome suspension. <laughs> that is really good suspension, guys. <laughs> all right, now we're going to do front hub only, dual battery, all throttle, speed test. A little bit slower on the front hub motor. All right, hit 27 miles an hour. Now we're going uphill. So I'm guessing the front motor, you're not gonna get as much power as a rear. I guess they don't want you slipping out so much because you do slip out a lot with just that front hub going. <laughs> and, and when you have them both running, it's insane. Kind of have to lean forward to get going. All right, now let's switch it to dual, ready? Oh yeah, there it goes. Just started pulling me right up that hill. More speed. My goodness, guys. 31. That's 31 miles an hour. Let's see if the uh, let's see how the pedal assist works with just the front hub. Or if it only works with the rear. No, that's a front hub. That's crazy. That's uh pedal assist six with just the front hub, dual battery. Dude, this thing it still has power it's crazy that is insane guys this is a blast <laughs> let's go back to dual <laughs> pedal assist six dual motor dual battery i'm actually feeling the resistance in the pedals <laughs> You can still get a workout going this fast. <laughs> oh, this makes me so stoked, guys. <laughs> this guy's confused. 33, we just hit 33. <laughs> oh, that's so sick. Oh my goodness, guys, the dual motor on this thing, like the torque is crazy. Like watch when I take off. <laughs> so to prevent that you actually gotta have like lean into it full throttle do a motor <laughs> oh my god the torque is crazy <laughs> oh my goodness i want to do jumps but i got the drone on the back i don't want to jump with the drone and end up breaking a super expensive drone but holy crap let's do just the rear not as torquey. Let's do just a front. Oh, that's <laughs> not as good as the rear. Look at that. We're still climbing up hills. Actually, let's do like a quick little hill test right here. And actually, let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see more of those speed tests with uh, different pedal assists on moat, you know, with one motor or two motors. I, I just did all the tests with dual motors, a few tests with the single motor, but I didn't think it was really necessary to do the pedal assist testing. I'll probably do that when I do uh, my range tests with this. And also I'm thinking about wearing the head mount with this because of how high this handlebar is. And then my phone kind of blocks the view. So I'll definitely be using that head mount on this bike. All right, so let's do single motor up. Oh, this is a pretty steep hill. So we're gonna start 
with a little lead right here. All right, single motor. Can we get up this? Oh, 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 we're struggling, we're struggling. All right, all right. We're gonna go dual motor now with a little lead start. And I'm gonna leave, like lean really, really forward into it. Same spot I'm gonna try it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Are you kidding me? The torque on it is amazing. All right, so we had a little lead start there. Let's just do it from like a, a dead stop, guys. <laughs> And guys, be careful when you're turning and you have dual motor on, the front will slip out and kind of pull you. It's weird. It's, 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 it's a little sketchy. It's like, you see that? <laughs> it's kind of sketchy. All right. Back here, same spot. Dead, dead stop. Dead stop. Right at the beginning of the grass. Are you Mark? Get set. Go. Are you kidding me? That is amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> All right, just for uh, just for science, just for e-bike science, and you guys, we'll just do front motor. You guys know the front motor is weaker by itself. We're gonna get a lead start. Dual motor. Ah. <laughs> wow, the torque on this is amazing. Like, <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Let's keep it on the rear to be safe. Wee. Oh man, this this dual rear suspension is awesome. And the front suspension is nice and bouncy. Nice and really squishy. I love it. Yeah, guys, so far, initial impressions, I am super stoked with this bike. Very happy with the torque. The dual motors is a freaking game changer. The dual battery also a game changer with that extra range. Ha! Oh, man, I'm stoked. This is definitely, definitely an awesome bike for the money that you're putting into it. Like, you're getting a lot for the money. It's about $2,999 for this bike right now. It was down to $2,700 before. It's going to go up to $3,200, but that's $3,200 is actually the same price as a Super 73 RX. And, uh, you know, with other bikes like that, you're going to get single motor and a single battery, only 20 amp hour battery, instead of dual battery with 31 and a half amp hour and dual motor with all this crazy torque. <laughs> I mean, come on. You're definitely getting a lot for the money on this bike, guys. Dual suspension. <laughs> Riding in the grass is so much fun. <laughs> All right, guys, remember this little spot? I have this little hill that I tried climbing up with the RX, getting a nice lead start. This is just single motor with a little lead start. Let's see how far up we get. Dual motor, dual motor. That is insane. That is insane, guys. <laughs> it's like super, super touchy with the dual motor. It's like instant torque, man. From the stop. Guys, this thing climbs hills like nothing. Like nothing. It's awesome. <laughs> All right, let's go back in the, just the rear. There we go. Mode one. Man, this, this bike is sick. Guess there's no better time than right now to thank all the past, present, and future subscribers because without you guys, I wouldn't be here. I am so stoked with all the love and support you guys have been showing me over the last year. You guys rock, and I can't wait to meet and hang out and ride with all you guys very soon. This summer's gonna be awesome. Definitely gonna be doing a lot of traveling, riding e-bikes, a lot of fun exploring on these guys. And guys, let me know down in the comments if you wanna see the camera on my helmet instead of here on my chest it'll probably be like a little bit higher actually way higher than that too so i think once i get the extended seat i'll be able to sit back a little bit and get a nice nice long pedal on my legs nice long extension with the pedals make it a little more comfortable for the taller guys i'm about five foot 11 150 pounds on this bike yeah <laughs> that was the homie wes i'm hope hopefully gonna be going on a ride with him soon it smells good. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's just like really deep sand. <laughs> That's so crazy. <laughs> That's it. Quick burnout. 
in this way. <laughs> Here's another cool thing. You can actually stand up and pedal this bike very easily. I'm on gear seven mode one. Going about 16 miles, 17 miles an hour. I guess there's no better time than right now. Are you guys ready for another cheesy music video? Brought to you by Shreddy. <laughs> all right guys that's the end of that cheesy music video i hope you guys enjoyed that ride as much as i enjoyed it that was a blast <laughs> Oh yeah, that beach traffic's gonna be starting up here pretty soon. I'm gonna be passing that traffic with ease on all my e-bikes. That's like the greatest thing about living at the beach and having an e-bike. When there's traffic, you don't really have to worry about it, guys. All right, that was actually a fun ride today. Nice, fun speed test. About to fly the drone around. Little cheesy music video for you guys. 70 degree day. All right, guys, we've come to the end of our ride. Initial impressions, I'm freaking impressed guys. This thing has some awesome torque, some good power, good speed. It's gonna have amazing range, I could already tell. With how fast we were going, how many miles we got today, and let's see, we started at 58. It was like 58.6 volts or something right now. We're at 53.8 volts. I was going pretty hard on this bike, guys. It was a lot of fun. The suspension on it feels great. The seat feels great. The handlebars even feel awesome, even though like they're not like my style of handlebars. Me, I want more like a BMX style. The traction on the tires was amazing. I loved it. Having all the gears, being able to pedal this bike with the power off, awesome. Having the option to just go with one battery. If you want less weight, you could always take one of the batteries off and ride the bike like that. But me, I'm going to be riding dual motor, dual batteries most of the time on this bike. And guys, definitely stay tuned. I'm gonna be doing more videos with this bike. We're gonna be doing a full throttle range test here soon. Then we're gonna go through all the pedal assist uh, range tests with the dual motors, dual battery, single motor, single battery, whatever you guys want. Drop them down in the comments below. Let me know what kind of tests you guys wanna see me do. Man, this bike is a blast. And if you guys are looking for like an e-moped, e-bike style, bike that goes really fast and you're gonna get good range, you live in the city, a beach town, even out in the sticks this bike's gonna be for you. Like if I was a hunter, I would probably wanna get a bike like this with the dual motors and everything and dual batteries. Stick a rack on the back, you wanna throw some deer back there. I don't do any hunting, but man, I think this would definitely be a good bike for hunting and fishing. Definitely a really cool beach bike. I'm 100% I'm digging it, guys. And guys, if you guys enjoyed the content up till now, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button and ringing that notification to be notified when I'm making videos. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for the subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe. Heads down. All right guys, I'll see you in the next Grizzly Ride.